Hey guys, this is Trevor here. So today we'll be learning about longest increasing subsequence using the n log n approach. In the previous video, we had discussed an O of n square algorithm, but in this video, we'll be discussing an n log n algorithm which uses binary search and dynamic programming. So just in case you haven't watched my previous video, get back and watch that previous video and then only start with this video. Let's assume you're given this array sequence of n numbers. So the LIS is again of length 6. This can be a LIS or this can be a LIS. So how do you use binary search and dynamic programming to trim the complexity to n, n log n? Let's assume we have a sequence of 2, 5, 3, 7, 11, 8, 10, 30. Let's see how our algorithm works for this sequence. Initially at the 0th index, you will store 2 and you come across to 5. Whenever you come across to 5, you will check if this 5 is greater than this 2. It is. So you will insert this 5. So the new index of 5 is 1. You come across to 3, you see if this 3 is greater than this 5. No, it is not. So you will traverse and find that who is the immediate next of 3 or if 3 exists in this array. No, it does not exist. So who is the immediate next? 5. So you replace 5 by 3. So the next step, you come across 7 and you see 7 is greater than 3. So you insert 7 and it is at the second index. Next step, you come across 11, right? So you know 11 is greater than 7. So 11 is entered. The next step you come across 8. Now 8 is not greater than 11. So you find the immediate next of 8. That is 11. So you replace 11 by 8. Come across to 10. Now you know 10 is greater than 8. So you can easily put it over here. The next step you come across 13. You know 13 is greater than 10. So you put it over here. The next step you know 6 is not greater than 13. So where will you put 6? The immediate next of 6 is 7. So you put 6 over here. So we can say the number of elements that we are putting into the vector is our length of the longest subsequence. Now, why does this work? Let's assume you are given a small sequence, 2, 5, 3, 4. So what we are doing exactly is at every index, we are storing the last element of that possible sequence length. This means if you're taking this much, this means a sequence is of a length 3. And at every index, you're taking the minimum element, right? You're taking 2, you're taking 3, you're taking 6, right? You could have taken 2, 5, 6, but we are actually taking the minimum element. Now, how does this help? Realize uh, if you would have taken 2, and at the next step, if you would have taken 5, and if you wanted to take 3, you cannot take 3 because you have already taken 5. So it's better to take 3, 2 and 3 as a subsequence because that will allow you to take 4. Realize if you would have taken 2, 5, that would not have allowed you to take 4 and you would have only got the length of the longest increasing subsequence to be 2. So that is the reason we store the minimum possible element that is possible and in doing that we easily get the length of the longest subsequence which is nothing but the number of elements that you have inserted into this container. So how do you find the immediate next element? This is always in an increasing order. So to find the immediate next create element, you could do a binary search over here. And if you do a binary search, that will take a log n time. And the entire traversal of the array takes O of n. So the time complexity of this algorithm, this is nothing but n into log n because n is the time taken to traverse the array and log n is the binary search, assuming that we perform a binary search for every element. Similarly, the worst space complexity will be O of n assuming that all the elements are in ascending order. So we have a longest increasing subsequence of the length n. Now let's uh, quickly have a walk through to the code. So you have the array, you have the size, I call the LIS function, which takes the array and the size is the input. So initially, you know, you will put first element into it because zero already stored two. And after that, you come across one and you check if that is whatever the element comes, if this is greater than this, if this is greater than this, then you insert it, right? You inserted it. So you will insert it if it's greater. If it is not greater than what you did, you found out the immediate next or similar element if exists. Uh, guys, I've not written the binary search code. You could write it on your own in an interview, but the lower bound exactly does the similar thing. It finds you out the immediate next or the if the similar element exists, it will point out to that. So I will easily get the index where the immediate next exists and I will replace that index by this. And after that, I can say the sequence dot size is my length of the longest LIS. So overall, the time complexity stands at n log n and the space complexity stands at O of n. I hope uh, the concept is clear to you. And if you have liked the video, please press on the like button, do subscribe and do share the channel among your friends and press the bell icon too. Thank you.